injector. The fuel injectors are located in the fuel system. More precisely, in the fuel injection system. They are designed to meter and spray fuel into the intake manifold, the intake ports of the cylinder head, or directly into the cylinders. You can see two different installation options for fuel injectors. In the first example, injection occurs before the intake valves. In the second example, it is direct injection into the cylinders. Now, we'll look at the design of a typical electromagnetic fuel injector, which is commonly found in gasoline engines. Let's start from the exterior. Under pressure, fuel is delivered to one of the injector sites. On its way, it passes through a filter. Spraying occurs on the opposite side. The injector also features an electrical connector for controlling the injector and two O-rings. Let's take a look inside. As you are aware, the inlet has a filter. As the fuel passes through the filter, it enters the injector and fills the cavity inside. Regardless of fuel pressure, nothing happens as long as the system is at rest. The injector's main components are the valve and the electromagnetic coil. The spring rests against the sleeve, pushing the valve towards the valve seat and preventing fuel injection. When a voltage is applied to the electromagnetic coil, the valve opens. The magnetic field created by an electric current passing through the coil lifts the valve. When the voltage supply is cut off, the magnetic field disappears and the spring forces the valve to close. This is a simplified diagram of the electromagnetic coil. As you can see, both ends are linked to the injector connector. As an electric current passes through the coil, it generates a magnetic field. However, this is a rather weak field. To amplify and concentrate the magnetic field, a magnetic core is installed inside the coil. It is a hollow bushing in this case. The valve is drawn to the magnetic core, overcoming the spring's force. As a result, the valve needle rises from its seat, allowing fuel under pressure to be finely sprayed through the spray tip or spray disc. Now let's take a closer look at the valve seat and the parts that go with it in this design. First comes an additional filter plate, and then the valve guide which is attached to the valve seat. The design also features a sealing ring. The spray disc comes next. This injector is outfitted with a two-hole disc, but other options such as four or more holes are also available. All parts are held in place by a metal ring that is secured within the injector housing. It should be noted that different types of valves may be used in injectors such as spherical profile needle valves, cone profile needle valves, pins, and disc valves. We have examined the fuel injector designs. This concludes our review.